شكرا Good morning lovely people and welcome back to Gryffindor yes I'm back at home with these cool cats what you chasing you might oh bit, bit of doggy yoga first thing in the morning and here comes the crazy one Today is Thursday, it is the 30th of August. We have one more day in August and then September is here. That's back to school season. I don't really give a shit about that because I'm not a teacher, I'm not a mother, um, my dogs don't go to school. So, but for any of you guys who are going back to school, well done. Get that education in. I did my stint in school, I do not need to do any more. It is 8.30. I've been up since about 7.30. I just have been waking up super early. Although 7.30 has been asleep in because I've been waking up at like 5.30. And my fringe, I'm trying to grow it out a bit guys. So you're gonna have to bear with me while I try and style this fringe while I grow it out. Cause I'm sick of it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to everyone who likes it. I don't. It's so much maintenance. And I just want to have my forehead back. But I don't, I don't have a bad forehead. See, look at look how chic I look. I, I look much better without it. Well, not maybe with the cockatoo on my head, but yeah. It's all well and good having a fringe until you have to style it every day. Today I weighed in at 113.6 pounds. Yesterday and the day before I was 114.6 pounds. And before I left for Leeds, I was 112.8 pounds. So I am 0.8 of a pound up from before I left Leeds and that's fine because I had some alcohol, I had some pizza, I had some McFlurry. Um, I didn't go too crazy guys. Uh, I didn't snack in between meals. I wasn't like binging on bad food. I just simply ate when I was hungry and whatever was available to me I ate. And I did have a few, just a few cocktails cause you know, hashtag health, I'm not gonna go crazy. So right now I'm up, I'm gonna have my collagen coffee, I'm gonna have some water, I'm gonna take you through a day of what I eat because someone mentioned that they really like my full day of eatings and I haven't done that in a while, like a proper one. So today is a full day of eating, I'll take you through my day, what I get up to, I'm expecting a nasty gal delivery. I haven't ordered from them before and I don't know why not, I think I thought they were super expensive and they're not. This is not a sponsored Nasty Gal video, I'd like to point out. I paid for it all myself, out of my funds. So um, I'll take you through what I got there because I'm really into crop tops. Standard morning setup, I have a litre and a half Evian. I try to get through about three litres of water a day, if not more. I've got my Dim supplement, I've got my zinc, I've got my selenium. I'm gonna get myself through this water in here. I have my collagen, about 12 grams of powdered collagen. This is the one I use and I just get it on Amazon. Um, it's just this and literally it's just collagen. I don't have any, it's not one of these ones that has added carbs or fats in there. It's not um, like any MCT or anything in there. It's literally just the collagen. I just add that to my coffee and it doesn't change the taste of your coffee or anything. So I just have that in my first decaf coffee of the morning. I'm going to have my decaf coffee with some of this milk in. I weigh it out about 20 to 30 ml. And then some of this yummy, yummy fudgy protein banana bread, which is now live on the Gymshark Central blog. I'm going to be sharing my recipes there from now on. It is linked to my cooking YouTube. So if you want to see any of my recipes, head on over to the Gymshark blog. They will be up every two weeks. So I'm just gonna get on with making my coffee, having my vitamins, having my water, then I'll feed the dogs, then I will do cardio, then I will walk the dogs. Maybe not in that order, I'm not sure, but today, it's a good day. It's a good day. This is really good. I know I'm biased because I created it. I put Roxy outside to do a wee and she's banging on the door to get back in. The dogs are very demanding. I'm gonna have to bring them for a walk, haven't I? Okay, I'm gonna have my coffee and then I'll bring these little munchkins for a walk because they're just hyper, hyper. She's a little bit excited about going for her walk. Sit. 
so clearly she is being a freaking maniac so I better bring them for a walk it's time I'll be back in about half an hour or so get those steps in get those steps in, in from the walk taking off my sexy wellies because you know you have to be really sexy on these walks and there's Bailey Get all the noise my trainers on still have to do my cardio uh, I have done 4,000 steps so far aiming for about 10,000 although on Monday I only did 5,000 so I'm gonna have to make up for that during the week and that's the way it is you can just average it out over the week you can just add in some extra steps along the way oh god fuck off fringe I've had two deliveries this morning one from Amazon which was my tinned pumpkin if you can't find Tim Pumpkin, blah, if you cannot find tinned pumpkin in your supermarket, just get it on Amazon. It's like 10 quid for three cans. I know it's a lot cheaper in the supermarket when you can get it, but Sainsbury's didn't have it this time. They seem to have stopped stocking it. So my Nasty Gal delivery is arrived. Ooh, I've never ordered from Nasty Gal. You know, I'm the ASOS queen. So We'll see what's okay in let's just start with these boots these are going to be my winter boots because winter is coming yeah they look okay and they're like faux leather so vegan friendly there guys a lot of the nasty gal stuff appears to be vegan friendly i think they're pretty cool then a pair of like low heeled shoes not sure how i feel about them i'll have to try them on We've got this dress that looks super short, so I don't know if I'll be able to get away with it, but I thought it was kind of Murka! Murka! But I think it might be a little bit too short for me, a little bit too slutty. And then we've got a selection of black and white tops, got a cropped white t shirt, super cropped. I'll try them all on for you. We've got this black top with like an open back. Again, try it on for you. Now, this, I don't know. It might be a bit too slutty for me. It looked good on the girl, but she didn't really have boobies. So maybe on me with the big fake tits. Yeah, the BFTs, me. Mm, maybe a bit too much for them. And there's this little top, which I think is kind of cute. Off the shoulder, cropped, ties at the front. Yeah, I'll be having that. I like that one. Nasty Gal appear to have free returns within 21 days. Yes, we have a Royal Mail sticker. So you just stick it in the post. Anything I don't like, I'll return. Simple. That's why I like ASOS, because they make it really easy to return your stuff. Any online shops that make it really difficult to return things. I just don't shop there. So let's see what it looks like when I try it on later. I'll do gym and stuff first. Oh, fringe. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go and do some cardio. I've been watching Celebrity Big Brother. Has anyone else? That's my car go to cardio TV. I always have to have mind numbing TV for cardio so that it can't be something interesting or that I enjoy. It has to be something like Big Brother, Love Island, some kind of reality TV for my cardio. So I don't know what I'm gonna do when Celebrity Big Brother ends. Then I'll have no cardio TV, I'll have to find a different mind-numbing TV show. Hmm. Suggestions? So cardio done and I just had my first caffeinated coffee of the day and I got a delivery. Well, I've just been sent these through from Coco Plus. I haven't tried them before but they are lower in carb and they actually have protein in them. So we have our chocolate, lower carbs, higher in protein and I'm probably going to add these, look at these little cuties, like little chocolate hearts and then these, like they just have really good macros so I'm just going to add them onto my porridge when I have it um, in a bit, I think I'll add some of this hazelnut one, I told them I do not like chocolate orange, anyone else have an aversion to fruit flavoured chocolate, why, why put fruit in chocolate? Well, I kind of tried on my little outfits over my clothes and just to try and establish what fits and what doesn't but I'll do a proper try on show you how I'd style it if you're into my fashion stuff I'm not I don't consider myself very fashionable 
I try to keep up with trends but as you can see I live in my gym clothes so the rarity of me actually wearing regular clothes over defeats the purpose of being fashionable but I am going to try and be a little bit more fashionable and maybe get out of my gym clothes a little bit more often so it is breakfast time and I'm having some oats yep keeping it simple I'm having one of these good morning honey and almond flavor oats there we have it I have some water in it I just make mine up on water I don't really like them creamy because I don't like creamy foods and then I'm going to add in some of these egg whites I know it sounds gross but it just makes it really cakey so you gradually add them in I'm going to add in some of this chocolate protein that I got from Holland and Barrett because it was on sale and then I'm going to add a square of the Cocoa Plus see what's going on it's about eight grams so I'm just going to like break that up and put it on top here we have some super chocolatey pro oats for my breakfast. Oh yeah, got that Cocoa Plus all sprinkled on top. I also have a mild addiction to the Fiber Syrup Gold from Sucrin. I have a link in the description box to Sucrin and that is where I get most of my flour and baking goods. Pre-workout coffee with some of the Oatly oat milk, the Barista Blend, because it's the only one that will froth like that and give you a good head. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to the gym we go. I flipping well procrastinated this enough. I'm just going to open the gates, we keep them closed, because uh, Roxy had been being a little bit of an escape artist. So to be extra careful, we've been closing the gates. And inside now. Today is normally quad and calf day, but as you may or may not know, I have pulled back on training my quads because I'm quite quad, quad dominant to get them more um, svelte looking, for want of a better word. And, okay. So um, today I will be doing some abductor, which is the area around your hips, the top of your legs, around kind of like that hip area is your abductors. So I'll do some abductor work, I'll do some calf work, and then just do about 10 minutes of sprinting. Um, it's not a very mm, intense workout, but I kind of dread it because of the sprints. I don't mind the abductors, I don't mind the calves. I fly through that. It'll only take me like 15 minutes but it's the 10 minutes of sprints that absolutely kills me. Anyone else find hit work and sprinting difficult? I'm just not made for it. My body is not made for cardio at all. I'm more of a slow, steady weightlifter. But we're getting through it because today is a good day. I'm in from the gym as you can see I'm in my dressing room and I'm just gonna have this I had one of the peanut butter ones yesterday so I'm gonna try out the salt caramel one today 
and I have one of these because it's just one of those days. I always have three coffees a day. And I'm just going to change so that I can get some photos taken for Instagram because I need to put one up this evening and I have nothing to put up so I'm going to fix my sweaty hair. Fringe is just... So um, yeah, doing that right now and I will update you when I eat next because this is the full day of eating isn't it? And we're really happy. So this is what I look like for my little mini photo shoot for Instagram for today. Um, I'm just going to take you through what I got from Nasty Gal. So I'm going to just try on my boots to show you. So I'm currently wearing a pair of Zara jeans. This top is from Urban Outfitters, which I'm in love with. And they're my boots. Can you see them? The boots tucked into the jeans. I'm thinking they might look cooler with like a skirt or something, but they're pretty cool. Okay, so this is the first top from Nasty Gal. Um, I don't know guys, I think it's like a little bit too slutty for me you, like you have a lot of under boob a lot of nipple showing so i think this will be returned because it's a bit too much for me that's saying a lot top number two and i quite like this one you can see it's backless it ties it's pretty girly and it's just like a really light cotton material so i'm really really feeling this one i like this one yes this is a keeper this is a size six i think most of the tops i got in a size six but two of them i think i'm going to exchange for a bigger size i'll show you them next so this is the next top and this is one of the ones i'm going to exchange for a bigger size just because it's like pulling here on the arms and i just feel like in the size eight it'll fit me a lot better but i really like it i like that it's short and I'd wear this with like high-waisted jeans as opposed to the under the belly button jeans, like a high-waisted trouser or something. And last t-shirt is a size six and I'm going to get it in the size eight because I just want it a little bit baggier, but I like the length. I like that it's super cropped because again, I will wear it with high-waisted jeans. And if you have like a regular crop with high-waisted, they just don't go together. You have to have kind of the super crop but I'm liking this. I'll just exchange it for a bigger size. Okay, so these are the boots with the America, America dress. So I don't know, I think it's a little bit on the short side for me. I've added a little belt to kind of like jazz it up a bit. Jazzing it up, yeah. And I think the boots look kind of cool with it though. So. And the final item is these little shoes which i think would be kind of cute with like jeans or something maybe not with this super short skirt which is like nearly show my vajayjay but uh boom, 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 boom. i think uh now i'm gonna do a quick physique update i have a new bikini from 437 swimwear I love those girls and I love their bikinis, so I'm gonna put that on and then do a quick physique update just to show you where I'm at. We've got some butternut squash waffles and some asparagus. I'm going to make a mushroom and spinach kind of concoction and then serve that up with some chicken that I've already pre-prepared. So dinner is served. I have got some of my butternut squash waffles. We've got the Nando style chicken, which is up on the Gymshark blog. We've got some asparagus, because I love asparagus, and some cheesy 
mushrooms with spinach and I'll also be having some of my favorite blend bros. I have a discount in the description box below if you fancy purchasing some. Yummy! Dinner is done, consumed, and I'm moving on to my little dessert, which is one of these Kavarg vanilla yogurts. And I top it with some of these, which are sucrine kind of crunchy things. And they're vegan, if anyone vegan is watching and they add a bit of crunch to the yogurt and then I'm going to put a little bit of this fibre syrup on I have it upside down because it's nearly empty but I've got more bottles so it's okay all is good with the world and we're still happy final food of the day I've got me some pretzel bites if you haven't tried these they're really good they are dark chocolate covered and they just hit the spot and I'm going to have one of my Pepsi Max and I'm gonna watch some TV and get an early night because I'm still catching up on sleep. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, give it the thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. If you have any questions about anything in this video, hit me up down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. See you guys soon.